Good morning to all and welcome to the session, the Hindu Editorial Analysis for Proficiency in English. Today's editorial is all about the BJP Party's manifesto for the 2024 general election in India. We start the session with the question, what is this editorial about? This editorial is an analysis of the BJP Bharti Janta Party's manifesto for the 2024 general election in India. Today, I have brought the broad framework of the editorial. There are about six areas. The first one, introduction, overview of BJP's 2024 manifesto. The second one, any party before elections talks about already in power for two terms, talks about achievements. What are the major achievements? Article 370, Ram Temple, Triple Talak, and welfare measures. Then it talks about coming elections, the promises, uniform civil code, CAA, women's reservations, and health care. Then it fourth point, argument for continuity, the third term. Stability, why should we go in for, why should the public go in for the BJP for the third time? Stability, momentum, avoidance of controversies, and targeted appeal. Usually any party selects certain groups and targets a manifesto. Here Modi's appeal, the key factor, and also specific demographics, youth, women, all these. And the last point, sixth point, evaluation, manifesto analysis, voter impact, how do they receive? This is a broad framework. Now let us go to how does it, the tone of the editorial. The tone of the editorial is a predominantly, predominantly means what? Mainly neutral and analytical objective analysis of the manifesto based on that analytical and no particular stand taken by the editorial based on that neutral how does it start pitch per continuity there are so many meanings for the word pitch you all know pitch as a noun it goes with a cricket the pitch in the ground but here it has been used as a verb as a verb what does it mean Try to persuade someone to do something. You persuade someone to do something that is known as pitching. In this context, uh, pitching for the power, for the third term. And in this context, the main idea, pitch for continuity. Already the BJP has been in power for the last two terms. And they want to get the third term also based on that, the pitch for continuity or persuasion for continuity for the third time. On the BJP manifesto for the general election 2024, any party before elections releases the party manifesto. Manifesto means a written statement of the beliefs. In this context, the promises, aims and policies of an organization, especially a political party. At the time of elections, why do parties release a manifesto? They want the public to know what exactly they're going to do once they come to power. What is the main idea of this editorial? The BJP manifesto is as focused on achievements as on promises. At the time of elections, any party, that to a party that has been in power for two terms, will definitely talk about the last two terms, the achievements, one particular dimension. And it will also talk about the promises, if at all they come to power for the third time, what are the promises going to be fulfilled? This is the two dimensions. Let us see how it starts. <clears throat> Initially, it is about uh, the overview of the BJP's manifesto. In its manifesto for the 2024 general election, the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP has sought. Here we have present perfect tense active voice. Seek, sought, sought. There's a label for you guys, those who are trying for jobs. What is the term we use? You're all job seekers job seekers has sought a popular mandate there's one important word here huh? very good Anisha Divya all these uh, Naidu also should be there uh, mandate has two different meanings one particular meaning mandatory you all know the word mandatory mandatory goes with uh, uh, the noun form something is mandatory it can be an adjective as well it means something is compulsory. Here, mandate, it goes with elections. 
it goes with the public mandate means the public the people giving the authority or the power to a particular party to rule for five years that is known as the mandate it is nothing but the verdict given by the public at the time of the elections to a particular party a popular mandate for a third consecutive term under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi what is this about it is a in its manifesto for the 2024 general election the bjp has sought a popular mandate means popular verdict for a third consecutive term already two terms in power and uh, for the third time they are pitching consecutive term under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi the party's campaign is based primarily primarily means basically the party's campaign at the time of elections every party takes a particular stand and goes in a particular direction the campaign is taken in a particular direction this talks about that the party's campaign is based primarily on its track record of the previous two terms any party that has been in power for two terms will start with the achievements what exactly they have achieved the last two terms and this sentence talks about the same thing the party's campaign at the time of elections there are two words one is campaign the other word is a canvas but here you got to be careful with spelling double s single s it goes with cloth your shoes or canvas shoes that's a different thing altogether the party's campaign is based primarily on its track record of the previous two terms it has underscored means highlighted its achievements in terms of the advancement of a core ideological agenda and governance promises while making the case for a third term it means it has highlighted whatever it has achieved the last two during the last two terms and in terms of advancement of a core ideological agenda there's one ha ah, very good there's one important word here core i usually tell students if you go to the private sector major companies or blue chip companies they use an expression like our core competency lies in core competency means actual skill the main skill one has here core ideological agenda and governance promises it has highlighted its achievements in terms of again when a particular party highlights achievements it has to talk about in what in which particular sphere it has to talk about in which particular sphere it has achieved something there are two areas over here one is ideological agenda core ideological agenda and the other one governance promises and based on these two they are pitching for a third term while making the case for a third term core means the most important the basic and most important part of something good good i see a lot of students doing value addition i appreciate that the special what are the achievements now editor elaborates the achievements the special status of jammu and kashmir under article 370 was undone and the ram temple in ayodhya was inaugurated during the second term of mr modi two major achievements one undone means a uh, revoke article 370 was undone and a second major achievement ram temple in ayodhya was inaugurated was inaugurated was undone past passive voice thank you very much who is that panindra nice of you second term of mr modi a third component what is the third dimension when it comes to achievements a third component of the core program of the bjp namely implementation of a uniform civil code has been promised in the third term one more thing is there but that hasn't been implemented they are going to the promise is that they are going to implement in the third term or once they come to power for the third term what is that one implementation of a uniform civil code the manifesto has a catalog of whenever you come across has you don't think of a perfect tense whenever you come across been don't think of passive voice first you read and see what exactly it talks about here the manifesto has it talks about possession have has 
a special helping verb you may ask sir why is it special what is so special about this particular helping verb any helping verb or auxiliary verb has only a function but this particular one has besides a function it has three meanings what are the three meanings eat drink and the third one in this context possess possess is very important from the exam point of view the reason being people make a mistake they tend to say i'm having a car i'm having a bike it means i'm eating a car i'm eating a bike that is practically impossible we cannot use the helping verb or the primary auxiliary have when we talk about possession in the ing form we are supposed to say i have a bike i have a brother i have a sister you cannot use the ing form here it talks about possession the manifesto has a catalog catalog actually goes with products imagine you go to a shop and you want to know the prices of different products price list and you have a brochure kind of a thing they all these the product the price mentioned that is known as a catalog but in this context the list of achievements the many promises the manifesto has a catalog of measures already implemented by the bjp that means uh, the achievements which include the ongoing free grain what are the schemes implemented by the bjp which include the ongoing free grain scheme that covers two thirds of the population this is an important expression here i would like to spend one minute something very important why i tell students to read the hindu paper two thirds imagine a sentence begins with two thirds that is a subject it's a fraction and after the fraction if it all if at all it is a subject it is followed by a phrase in that phrase is a noun here two thirds of the population the verb agrees based on the noun in the phrase that follows the fraction or the subject here i will i will i don't have time to write because we are running out of time but i'll make two sentences one two thirds of the book is interesting two thirds of the books are interesting book singular is interesting books plural are interesting this is an important rule seems easy but 2018 as bi pure they gave a question two thirds of the context was about corals corals coral reef the great barrier reef if you don't read the newspaper regularly you may not know anything about coral reef or the great barrier reef it has been in the limelight for the last 5 uh, or 6 years at that point it had been in the limelight and they had been writing articles for about 4 or 5 years based on that they gave a question many candidates could not answer because unfamiliar context and what is the point here if you read the hindu regularly you are exposed to a variety of contexts that will help in the exam you can answer many questions effortlessly that's all about this particular expression two thirds what are the achievements catalog of measures already implemented by the bjp which include the ongoing free grain scheme that covers two thirds of the population piped drinking water and other anti poverty programs particularly in housing all these go with the achievements and they are part of the catalog part of the manifesto but there is one important prefix here anti means against and another one is uh, you should not get confused a n t e means before for this we use anti natal means before birth anti natal anti submarine means what against submarine not marine marine you got to be careful under pressure the manifesto claims that 25 crore people have been lifted out of poverty an important expression if you use these expressions in the descriptive paper you will get maximum marks lifted out of poverty look at the wording the manifesto claims it is in present subject is third person singular it is an affirmative form based on that we should add s or es to the verb the manifesto claims that 25 crore people have been lifted have been lifted 
present perfect tense active voice or passive voice passive voice out of poverty ah poverty destitution impoverished penury uh, what is that indigence poor very good anusha i appreciate that criminalization of triple talaq is also cited as an achievement all these sentences talk about achievements criminalization of triple talaq is also cited cited means what quoted as an achievement the manifesto cites quotes the expanded representation of other backward classes tribal communities and dalits in government 60% of the outgoing council of ministers according to the manifesto as proof of the commitment to social justice all this talk about the achievements one it begins with the food free grain scheme that covers two thirds of the population second piped drinking water third anti poverty programs particularly in housing besides these the manifesto claims that 25 crore people have been lifted out of poverty during the last two terms of governance and also criminalization of triple talaq is also cited as an achievement the list looks like uh, no end as such the manifesto cites the expanded representation of other backward classes tribal communities and dalits in government 60% of the outgoing council of ministers means the term is going to get over according to the manifesto all these show something show what as proof of the commitment to social justice giving equal importance to all the communities of the country in its pitch for a third term now whatever i have read out more or less we started with the overview then all about the achievements now the pitch the promises in its pitch for a third term the bjp argues that continuity of a strong stable government is essential in steering the country through a period of global instability today around the world if you look at there are so many problems and two three wars are going on they have been going on for so many months and uh, obviously instability is there based on that what is the pitching the bjp is doing in its pitch for a third term the bjp argues that continuity of a strong stable government is essential or indispensable in steering the country through steer the country means take in a particular direction through a period of global instability it also promises as i said now all about promises it also promises the implementation of the citizenship amendment act caa and the law for women's reservations in the third term two things caa and uh, women's reservations in the third term the party steers clear of means avoid something this is an idiomatic expression steer clear of means uh, keep away from something avoid something to avoid someone or something that seems unpleasant dangerous or likely to cause uh, problems the party steers clear of any view regarding the demand for a caste census which is a promise in the congress manifesto if you take the other major party the congress in its manifesto they mention caste census but the bjp doesn't want to touch that particular issue it has uh, it the party steers clear of any view regarding the demand for a caste census which is a promise in the congress manifesto but makes a mention of the 10% reservation that is implemented for the economically weaker sections it doesn't talk about the caste census it talks about what has been done 10% reservation implemented for the economically weaker sections the key new promise means important new promise that it makes for a third term is a healthcare guarantee worth up to 5 lakh per senior citizens per senior citizen something uh, an important new promise the key new promise that it makes for a third term is healthcare guarantee worth up to 5 lakh for senior citizens in a notable departure means not the regular path away from the regular path in a notable departure there is no reference in the manifesto for a national register of citizens they do not talk about the national register of citizens in the manifesto 
a contentious topic. Contentious is an important word, though we have got a few times. What does it mean? Controversial topic. Causing or likely to cause an argument. Controversial. Apart from the emphasis on Mr. Modi's personal appeal, the emphasis is on Mr. Modi's personal appeal. The entire manifesto is titled, is titled Modi's Guarantee. Banking on one particular charismatic leader. Charismatic means magnetic. Some leaders are charismatic. They attract the masses. We use the word charismatic leader. Apart from the emphasis on Mr. Modi's personal appeal, the entire manifesto is titled Modi's Guarantee. The BJP is making an appeal. Appeal means a request to the Grameen, the different demographic groups, you are Anadatta, Nari, and middle class. And this is an acronym. What is the difference between an acronym and an abbreviation? Some of you can respond. I have told many a time. Acronym means you take the first letters of different words and you form a word. For example, I have created exam point of view, the acronym sleeps. Science and technology, legal, education, economy, polity, social cultural problems. This is an acronym. Abbreviation, if I say BBC, I have pronounced every letter, British Broadcasting Corporation. That is an abbreviation. Abbreviation, you pronounce every letter. Acronym, you form a word. Here it looks like an ac acronym. All these demographic groups segment which refers to rural areas. What do the letters stand for? Grameen, rural areas, Yuva, youth, Annadatta, farmers, Nari, Nari Shakti, women, and the new middle class. The manifesto documents the BJP strategy and vision. Any manifesto has to talk about the uh, manifesto, in the manifesto has to talk about the strategy and the vision. The manifesto documents means it has the BJP strategy and vision which indicates continuity in the traje trajectory of India set during the last 10 years. It also touches a particular aspect. What is it? Last 10 years, the BJP has been in power and a particular direction has been created. A particular path has been uh, created or laid. Now it indicates the continuity in the trajectory. Trajectory, the curved path that an object follows after it has been thrown or shot into the air. That is a literal meaning. But simply remember, tra trajectory means a path. Already path has been laid and uh, it wants to continue the same path. It talks about the same thing. After two terms, the BJP had to, an important helping verb. Have to, has to. I've said many a time. You have given so many times in different competitive exams. Have to, has to. Present form. Had to, past form. Here it is in past form. What is the function of have to, has to? It is used to express an obligation imposed by an external authority or a situation. In this context, the second dimension, situation. After two terms, the BJP had to necessarily recount its welfare schemes and other achievements. But as a party in power, its promises should have been more substantive. There's one important word. Usually we come across the word substantial. Substantial means what? Considerable. But here substantive means important, serious or related to facts. Facts are always real. Related to facts. It says after two terms, the BJP had to necessarily recount its welfare schemes and other achievements. Any party does the same thing. But as a party in power, its promises should have been more substantive, more real, more important, more serious. How does it end? The voters will necessarily weigh the promises in the backdrop of the achievements. Voters today, they are very smart. They look at the achievements because already two terms in power and uh, they look at the promises. Against the backdrop of the achievements, they try to consider, weigh means uh, consider, 
the promises. Based on that, they will give the mandate or the verdict. That's all about the editorial. A uh, lot, not too many words and easy to comprehend, but uh, patterns are important. We have come across some important patterns. That's all for now. And join at 7.30 to work on practice questions or mini mocks. Before I wind up, I would like to repeat. Do join at 7.30 mini mocks to practice questions based on exam topics. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.